Hello, we are back here again. Let's see how the sound here. Sound, sound, sound works. I had to improve the gain of the microphone, uh, but I, I think we are okay for now. Windows had, had somehow turned the microphone volume down, which is kind of bonkers, but hey, well, that's Windows. So, thanks for watching. Um, we are going to fade, which is kind of afterlife, sort of, in Dragon Age universe. And the last time uh, we were in a red cliff and noticed that the young lord is actually a mage, pretty gifted one, and he had like unleashed the demons. Is that you, Connor? Save this. Hey, I'm coming. Is anyone out there? Hello? So this is kind of dream world, and we had only Morgan with with, with us, so Mother, she she went. Where are you? Okay, this looks in interesting. I want to talk to you there. Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. This is the Fae. Your kind cannot navigate it any more than you could navigate a dream. I don't understand. Where is my corner? I will find him for you since I foolishly gave <laughs> my word that I would. Leave me to it. No. No, you're trying to lead me astray. I do not believe you. Connor! Connor, where are you? Okay, this didn't work out. No, no interesting books here. Blessed art thou who exists. So this is like teleportation or something. As you wish. Nice. Ah, I like the scenery already. What are these? Interesting. Who are you? Here's Connor. Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. I do not have time for fool children. Now tell me where this demon is. Fool? You won't get me out. I won't let you. Okay. It was a lady demon. I think I know what I should do. Very well. Not really powerful. Let us end this. What? This is proper tactic. Okay, this is. Uh, okay, you can you can cool down a bit. Okay, that wasn't corner. Can I go down here? No. I think I need to backtrack where where I came from. Which is kind of funny. I shall do it. Okay, no no map, no map you, in this place. You're the one making father sick. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Okay, here's another Why do corner. You keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Enough of these games. Give me what I want. Trespasser! I will drive you out! Okay, there's a... She has a friend with her. I wonder how many times we need to fight I'll this demon. I will. What, what was the quick save button again? F5. Okay. So 
be it. Is this different place? Interesting. Okay, here's Connor or Connor again. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Why do you speak through illusions? Come, let us converse. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Okay, how many demons? Okay, two. Three! Okay. This looks like a boss fight already. Very well. Interesting no outfit. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. Nice horns. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power. Nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead. Yeah, you could give the boy to us. I will not become an abomination no matter what you try. One soul I already possess. I do not need another. Right, need this, this was another. actually danger for the mages and witches. To talk. Do you take me for a fool? I know better than to bargain okay, with your Okay, so Morgan is in... Alas. Is it too keen to bargain? Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will I, I could have guessed otherwise. I have, haven't played this with Morgan. Matches your boldness, creature. Okay, horror is incoming. Ouch. Ouch. Resisted. No. Okay, she resisted, so she is actually pretty bad. Badass. Drain life. Thank you. My blast. That was pointless, basically. Okay, so now she cloned herself. Okay, that's that's the real one. Okay, it, it actually helped. <laughs> helped with the gold. How about mind magic? My path. Okay, she <laughs> resisted that as well. Ah, okay, nice. Train life. I'm, I'm running out of magic. Ouch. That wasn't so nice. Okay, see, there it is. Ouch. Okay. 
Okay, she she wasn't <laughs> that easy, and I think we went in. Uh, uh, we kind of played these uh, missions from the start uh, pretty wrong order. I think it th shouldn't well. be first. First no to try on. Now we meet, Faith. It is here I am most powerful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse. Do you take me for a fool? I know better than to bargain with your kind. Alas, that is sad. Very well then, if you wish a battle. Okay. Okay, that, that, that was fast. Okay, don't crash. Don't crash. didn't crash. I think we won. Okay, so they are giving Viking burial. Yeah, I'm not dead yet. No. That could have so been a lot worse. Yep, it's over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for oh, really? training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things, should Eamon recover. I'm not sure how I will tell him of all this. Isolde is dead, yet her sacrifice saved their son. There is still the matter of Jowan. He performed the ritual and did not deceive us. In a way, he saved Connor's life, even though he killed his soul. I am unsure what to make of this. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? So, what do we think? Why do you want my opinion? He should be executed. I would like him released. I don't think it's your decision to make. Why do you want my opinion? It was your decision to use his ritual. You had some reason to trust him. I thought you'd have an opinion on his fate. Fair. Would you find him useful? I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. I would like him released. Released? This mage is a Malefica. Even if I ignore his crimes, I cannot simply unleash him on the well, land. Well, they supply the on the land. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now, but our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. As odd as it may seem, the quest Isolde sent the knights on may be our only hope. 
We must find the urn of sacred ashes. Holy Grail. Ah, uh, I mean urn of the sacred ashes. I will seek this urn. Basic hero answer here. What you are talking about is there some other way to heal him. Turn it's a legend. It might never be found. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to help search if for your it. your business leads you elsewhere, I cannot hold you here. But I hope you want to restore Eamon as much as I. Yeah. Eamon funded the research of a Denerim scholar, a brother Genetivi. <laughs> He's been trying to decipher the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, Isolde sent her knights to Genetivi in the hopes that he had finally discovered the location of Andraste's final resting place. They were unable to find him. In desperation, Isolde sent others in search of the brother or some clue of the urn's location. I will see if I can find this no relic. One else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Well, that went well. Or not. Okay, can't wake, <laughs> wake him up. So, and, and we need this guy, so definitely something we need to find, find out. Do you think they all died? Or did they run away? I think they became, became zombies. Okay, hero murderer. I mean, Con Connor. You're the one who saved me. Uh, actually, it was Morrigan. Then, I guess I owe her thanks. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. I wish mother were here. Nobody will tell me how she died. They say I'll find out when I'm older. Yeah. Now, we visit the camp because we were like all broken. <laughs> Everyone has a cracked bones and heads and whatever. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. You were there. Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. Like five you minutes. You let Lady Isolde sacrifice herself with blood magic. How could you do that? Well, things happen. No, of course not. But there must have been another way. Something that didn't involve using blood magic of all things. This is the old son we're talking about here. What do you think he'll say when we revive him? <laughs> I <really> don't care. <laughs> Uh, maybe we shouldn't revive him then. You'll see that there were a lot larger things at stake. I just don't know how you could do it. How you could make that decision. I owe the Isle more than this. Yeah, he has a personal relationship. I honestly did the best I could, Alistair. You're right. Of course you're right. I'm such an ass. I should know better than to second guess you like this. Oh, why am I getting on your back about it? You did what you had to. It's just... All this death. Never mind. Let's just stop there before I do more than shove my foot in my mouth like an idiot. Yes. I am hardly surprised. To answer a question. The Arishok asked what is the blight. By his curiosity, I am now here. Yes. Never. I cannot go home. Uh huh. It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. As you wish. What do you need? Ask away. Mm, I think we talked to him. I. Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? Like messy hair? It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orle. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage, and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else, and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. The chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, 
terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. Dear Maker. Yeah. You can imagine what she looks like by the end of the evening. But I was trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders. Normal first. bard. It's just that I I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. Well, we are friends, aren't yes, we? Very much so. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. That person Thank friend. you. I am honored that you feel that way. Again, and then. Head to the tower. This is actually the first place we should have been going for. Let's see what happens. Cutscene happens. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Apparently he has money to spend. To be on the safe side, so that's that's the mage's tower. Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. It is begun. T take everything. Wow, I've never seen one of you knife ears dressed like the King of Ferelden before. You made good for yourself, eh? Excuse oh, me. I don't mean no offense. I know I shoot my mouth off. I'm just not used to your kind, trussed up or fancy. Uh, you mean you're used to seeing us slaves or servants? Oh, there I go again. I don't mean nothing by it. I swear I should. I should <sighs> Shut up. Over. I'm mighty pleased to be making your acquaintance, miss. <laughs> okay. Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. Why? I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. He's night commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Hmm, true. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant, if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. 
I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. Well, I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? All right, keep safe, you hear? You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. Okay. Why? I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. We harm no one, I assure you. And we enforce the Chantry's laws among ourselves. All we seek is a life outside of the Templar's shadow. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Uh, it was actually uh, Dragon Age's second, second game where the issue with the, with the mages was like uh, in, in the boiling point. Thank you, my friend. I'll, I'll help you. We have him. agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. It's his collective. Mages in the middle of a lake and make it look like a giant phallus. Not now that you said it. Yeah. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I'm not anyone. Oh, you're a grey warden, are you? Prove it. Kill some darkspawn. Come on. Let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! <laughs> game, game crashing. No, okay. Intimidate or persuade? Persuade. Oh, really? You think Grego would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Point. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. Well, that, that was easy. I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. What's going on with here? A very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. No. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Oh, is it blood magic all the Abominations and demons again. stalk the tower's yep. halls. Probably. <laughs> the circle is lost. The tower has fallen. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. I faced abominations before. Did you manage to put it down? If you have fought an abomination, then you understand their evil. You know what they are. Madness and cruelty made flesh. 
You think you can deal with them when even Templars are loath to enter the tower? A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. So this and rescue operation. Courage, whatever you decide. My wounds! They burn! It's unbearable! I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. I certainly hope so. Are you here to trade, then? As I recall, I shutting the door on. and throwing away the key was definitely the Templar Plan B. Shaking head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. could actually take the point. All right, I've come up with one. A question that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion, and this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. Another step, and I swear I will strike you down where you stand. Calm down. I am Wynn, mage of the circle, and these children are under my protection. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Have the Templars opened the door? Speak quickly. I'll have no games. I'm Craig Warden. were told that the circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? Don't worry. They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. Probably. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. What happened Let here? It suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Uldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle, as you can see. Ah, okay. Plan. I don't know what became of Uldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Sure. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Yeah, this this uh, temporary leader wasn't unreasonable. The Templar leader in <laughs> Dragon Age 2, well, that's a totally different ball game. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kinnan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress <laughs> to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages they allow themselves to be corralled like cattle mindless now their masters have chosen death for them and I say 
Let them have it. You could have been one of them if things were different. I have made one decision. I do treat the circle with so shots scorn. I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. Yes. My mother often would said help. that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. <laughs> Do not patronize me. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing. Though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go in this. So we need yes. tank, we need to win, and then uh, Leliana or Oregon. Indeed. Team Mage. Those locks. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. Feel that? It's actually colder up here. Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess, and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stock room is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? Most definitely, yes. Niall was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. We should find Niall. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. He was purged from the emotions. Interesting punishment of sorts. Uh oh.
Tell me why. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chetri. Right. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. I turned to work for the magic. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable. But the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Wynne? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought someone always has to take the first step, force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. It seems like these mages' towers are basically built in a way that mages can't rebel because they are under watch of the uh, Templars. Uh, all you do is follow in self-pity by the thing. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. I will spare you, but I will not help you escape. Thank you. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Okay. Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. It is time for sub. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Okay. Don't be seems long. Like, seems the children like will want to kiss you good night. I will be he's, he's under her like spell. It. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. Apparently, you can get your desire and still suffer horribly. <laughs> it's truly a lesson for all who consider <laughs> marriage. How uh. long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. What happiness! He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Then you leave me no choice. Bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. 
Oh no. to fight. That wasn't happy marriage at all. Really? If you like to just lay down and forget about all this, leave it all behind. No. Keep your eyes open. Someone pinch me. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. Resist. You must resist. Oh no. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on oh, no. without you. Lost in dreams. There you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? What you sh you should be dead. Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Y2. 
Isoct. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? The Darkspawn are gone, remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for yeah, all it, of it, us. It, it is a bringing dream. down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. The Grey Wardens shall be keepers of history. We shall tell tales and sing songs of a more tumultuous time, that others may rejoice in knowing that that time is past. And I suppose you know the Grey Wardens better than I do? Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? Offer complacency, not peace. It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Oh no. Right, this was uh, some kind of slight puzzle we need to fix. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No, I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. Of course I, I did. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty grey spaces for a lifetime. Yes, I am. My name is Nyal. Ah, so we were trying to, trying to find him. When I encountered the sloth demon, I expect our experience was similar. Sloth demon, okay. Owain helped me greatly. I suppose I'll never be able to repay him. Litany was our weapon against the blood mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead. This place drains you of everything. Hope, healing, life. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island. If you're lucky. Hmm. I don't know much. I... Uh, I think the Sloth Demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the Sloth Demon. But you have to get to them first. I... Uh, I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. Don't mind me then. I'll be back. Uh, who's that? Thank you, but 
too late for me. He said rats. Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Can I turn to... Yes, I can. I'm not now mouse. It shall be done. 